examples that I'm done. Um, based, ladies and gentlemen, the largest mistake that I see with students that really like um, irks my quirk is <laughs> you guys understand x squared, right? And that's basically x times x. Does everybody agree with me? OK. So 3x squared, which we just talked about. You could, obviously, you could distribute that, right? But really, that is 3x times 3x. Which, remember what we just talked about, though, which is really 3 squared x squared, right? Distribute those. But whatever, that's not what we're talking about right now. OK. Then, so 3 plus x is not, or well, actually, let's do that. So that's 3 squared x squared. So everybody gets to it and say, oh, hey, the power rule, the power to product rule. You can distribute the two. Yes, you can distribute the two across the, across the power to product multiplication. This is addition and subtraction. So Savannah, the biggest mistake you do not want to make is distribute the two across addition or subtraction. Why? That doesn't work. Because, ladies and gentlemen, 3 plus x squared, you should know, is 3 plus x times 3 plus x, like, right, like what we did right there. Right? Now, you guys hopefully remember how to multiply this. Right? We did this in class. You can use FOIL. You can use the box method. And what you get is 9 um, plus 6x plus x squared, which is definitely not 9 plus x squared. Right? So please do not make that mistake. Do not even, because now we're, that we're getting into the power to product, everybody starts confusing the power to product with wanting to.